Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, we're in the grow space again. We haven't been in the grow space in quite some time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, people have been asking for orchid updates and I have been so busy with outside and work and everything that I haven't had a chance to, um, to come down here and really pay attention to anything. I really apologize. I <laughs> When, when summertime comes, we're outside so much, and uh, it shows the gardens are beautiful outside, but then then everything inside kind of suffers. I actually have a Hoya upstairs that has a, uh, well, the leaves are like paper. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Hoyas have beautiful thick leaves. My Hoya upstairs, however, it did flower this year. I wanted to show you, but it got sidetracked. Shiny things, uh, busyness outside, uh, busyness at work, like I said, and uh, yeah, it the flower ended up uh, shriveling up and dying uh, prior to making the video. Um, it lasted a long time, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the leaves on the Hoya are really paper thin, and uh, I started watering it again because I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, also, my Norfolk Island Pine is starting to lose some bottom branches because I haven't been watering it very often. Um, I need to... Uh, buckle down and start watering things. Uh, but it is survival of the fittest in my house. I've said that a lot of times. I'm a lazy gardener. Um, if it can't hack it, it'll go. Uh, that's such a bad attitude. God. So most things survive. Most things are doing well. I, I try to water once a week. And uh, if they don't need it, I don't water them. But I do check them uh, regularly enough. Uh, with the exception of a few plants. Some plants need to be watered really, really regularly, but even in this, this time, uh, they might not have been watered so regularly. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's get to it. I wanted to show you some of the orchids that are in bud or bloom right now. It's not a lot going on. Uh, just the same old, same old. Uh, we've got this beautiful, um, uh, what is this one? This is a Phalaenopsis, but it's a, what is it, a Dortri... D Dortritus? I don't know. Anyway, we'll call it a Phalaenopsis for ease of communication. <laughs> uh, so this one, you guys seem to like it a lot. I don't really like it so much. I like it because it blooms all the time. It's never without a flower spike. I don't know how that is possible. But right now, I have an infestation of mealybugs in my house. And uh, my other uh, Phalaenopsis, the fragrant one that you've seen uh, periodically, uh, actually quite regularly, um... That one had an infestation all over the flower spikes, and so I cut off all the flower spikes because it's always in bloom, so I'm like, whatever, I'll, I'll lose flowers for, I don't know, three months. But it had a flower spike already coming out, so that one was fine, and I've been spraying it with insecticidal soap, and we seem to be on a good trend for this. Uh, this one here, I will spray it again after this video on some of the backs of the buds. I don't know that it's going to come in... Are you able to see a little bit of a white, a little bit of a white fuzz on there? I don't know. If you are, uh, good. But if you're not, I apologize. Anyway, that's mealybug. They have a light, uh, little white fluff. Another one that is in bloom right now is a BLC uh, Lucento de Oro. You've I've seen this before. This is quite beautiful. I like this one. Uh, this is the second time it's bloomed. I think. Well, the first time this year, but I, it's only been about uh, six or eight months since its last bloom. And the last time, I didn't, I didn't pick up a fragrance, but this time, this time it has a, a very light fragrance, a very floral fragrance. Uh, it's, it's quite lovely. Um, it starts off more yellow. The camera's not really picking up on the orange, I'm sure, but it is quite orange now. Uh, and this has been in bloom for, I'm gonna say about a month now. So the flowers are, are starting to look a little bit faded. They're they're getting to their, their nice dark orange or gold color. And uh, yeah, it's looking nice. Sad to see it go again, but uh, I've got new growths all the time, so that is a promising thing. With this Catalea, I let it dry out completely, and then I water it thoroughly. Uh, but I have it in a well-draining mix. It's mostly uh, a coarse bark, and I have some sphagnum moss in it uh, just to hold the moisture a little bit longer. Because I'm such a lazy waterer, I need something that holds on to a little bit of moisture, uh, otherwise uh, they would just uh, die of, of uh, thirst. Uh, another thing that was really exciting for me, uh, this is my, um, my Brassia, 
I got this from Marsh Hollow Nurseries here in Ontario, but I, I got it at one of the orchid shows, I think it was two years ago, and I probably have a video where I, where I purchased it, or I showed you. This one is, I can't even say it. Let me see if the tag will come up. Zoom doesn't ever seem to want to work for me or focus. So anyway, I'll uh, maybe type the, the name down there if I could read it. It's so bad. Uh, T-H-R-Y-S-O-D-E-S -E Gem. So this one here has whoop, this one here has a flower spike. I've had it, like I said, for two years. It was a division off of his plant. Uh, right here, if you're able to see it. Uh, I was super excited. I wasn't expecting this to, to flower. Uh, it's substandard care from this guy. This guy is so bad at caring for his orchids right now. Uh, and I don't deserve flowers on it. Uh, but for some reason, for some reason, it is blessing me with some blooms. Uh, thank you so much. Once I see the flowers, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll want to water it more often. Um, yeah, it's, it's so bad of me. This one here is going to be really interesting. I didn't actually see flowers on it when um, when I purchased it. It was on sale, and uh, it's a type of Phalaenopsis. It is a Phalaenopsis. Again, I'll put the name down below. Um, Pulcheriama variety blue uh, pyloric. So this one, I saw the yellow one uh, beside it, and this one was blue. Uh, they were the same variety, but one was yellow, one was blue, and uh, absolutely stunning uh, flowers on them. And I really hope, really hope that this one has the same color flowers or ver style of flower. It's very unique. Um, yeah, so I bought this uh, a while ago. I think I bought it last fall. And uh, it now has a little flower spike coming up in the crevice. Perhaps I'll take a photo and put the photo up in one of the corners here of the little flower spike. I'm uh, very excited to see that. I've never seen this flower before, so that is a super, super thing. I've been watching it regularly uh, with my Phalaenopsis. This one's growing in moss, so I let the moss uh, dry completely before I water it. And I don't water this one normally. I usually mist the moss just to keep it damp. I don't want it to be soaking wet for too long. There is drainage in the bottom, but uh, again, I don't want to like submerse it and get it absolutely sopping wet because it takes so long for moss to dry out. So uh, yeah, that's this one. I can't wait to show you what this is going to look like soon. Uh, actually, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. So uh, we'll see how that one goes. This is another one that surprised me. Again, uh, I've been having a bad time uh, recently. Uh, so this one here is an Oncidium Heaven Scent. And I believe this is a family member of the, um, the Sherry Baby, the chocolate smelling one. Uh, but this one here has a nice flower spike started. Uh, it's doing really, really well. Hopefully it continues to do well. And it looks like I'll need to repot it because as you can see here, the pseudo bulbs are coming over the edge of the pot. So we'll, we'll bring this up into at least, excuse me, a five inch pot and uh, see where it goes. Got two more here. This one here is the uh, Maxillaria uh, variabilis. This one here, it fascinates me. I don't know why. Uh, this one here is very grassy. Uh, the It's got a wider leaf than the Tenifolia. Let me bring the Tenifolia down. The Tenifolia. <laughs> the Tenifolia is so sad looking. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for this stuff. Uh, <laughs> so the Tenifolia is... Um, it's more grass-like. It's more more thin blades. This one here is a little bit more Oncidium-like, a little bit thicker leaves. Still grassy, but but in comparison, the leaves on this are super thin. The leaves on this are much wider. But this one here seems to flower regularly for me. Do you see the little flower down below? I hope the camera's going to pick it up. Me and the camera aren't best friends anymore. <laughs> so, this is, this is uh, really surprising. Uh, I bought this in... When did I buy this? I bought this in the end of February, uh, the, the first week of March. It's around my birthday. That's when the, um, the uh, orchid show was on. And uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I think that uh, I think we're going to be happy with this one. These guys uh, flower sporadically. They don't have a flowering season, just whenever they feel like it. So uh, likely it could flower all year long if the plant is big enough. 
so yeah, very excited about this one. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing right, uh, but I guess I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I usually let this one dry down between waterings, like everything else, uh, and it seems happy. The leaves are still green, no browning, uh, so we'll stay doing what we're doing. And last but not least, it's been a long video, I really apologize for that. Well, some of you like to hear me ramble. <laughs> Sometimes I like to hear myself ramble when I'm editing the videos. So, um, this here is my, my Miltoniopsis. There we go. My Miltoniopsis. Uh, this here flowered beautifully. I think it was last spring it flowered beautifully. I have photos on Facebook. And uh, this year it isn't doing very well. Actually, there's something, there's something strange going on in this pot. And I can't put my finger on it. Uh, it stays really moist for a very long time. Uh, these guys like to be kept constantly moist, damp. Uh, and if you don't keep them constantly moist, you get pleating of the leaves. So if you don't get a lot of humidity and, and it's really dry, you get a lot of pleating. I don't see uh, very much pleating in here at all. But this soil, this media, it's not soil, it's bark and, and moss, mostly moss. Um, stays wet for an obscenely long amount of time. To be quite honest, I have watered this maybe three times all winter. Uh, that is crazy. And I do check it, and right now it, it's approaching dryness, so I'll give it another drink. But maybe maybe it's when I water my other plants, maybe the, the water is pooling on the ground and it, and it sucks it up because it is moss. So let's go with that. But it's doing okay. Uh, it's not growing terribly fast, but this year, um, after it flowered last year and it, and it started putting out its growth, it started putting out a crazy amount of growth. Uh, I had probably 10 uh, growth sections, so I think that it was putting out too much growth and it couldn't handle itself, and things just weren't growing as quickly. Um, just like as a tree, when a tree is smaller and it has a, a few amount of branches, it seems like the tree grows really, really quickly, like a foot or two feet a year. And then and then as the, the plant becomes a full plant, the growth seems to get less because it's got so much more to, to deal with with its root system. So I have a feeling that might have been what, what's causing this issue. Um, but as you can see, we've got all kinds of new growth. There's this growth here. There's this growth that was right here. This one that was right here. Uh... I can't even, I can't even uh, go into detail about them all, but uh, right here, this is a blooming video. So uh, we've got a flower spike right here. Last year we had about uh, five or six flower spikes. This year we only have one. So maybe they're going to be sporadic because they're all at different stages of growth. But uh, so far I only have one, and it's about to open. This is a beautiful red color, absolutely beautiful. I, I just wish it was going to be a better show. So anyway. Uh, and we've also got this uh, polypotty fern in here, and uh, doing doing rather well. Uh, this one, I hope that it takes up some of the moisture from inside the pot. The one that I have that I took out of this last year, uh, it looks terrible because I underwater it severely. And this one seems to always look nice. So, I don't know, whatever. Symbiotic relationship. So anyway... Thank you for joining me on this uh, What's in Spike and Bloom tour of orchids. Uh, please stay tuned for more updates on orchids. I'm going to, uh, to, to do a few more. And uh, just, uh, just to have a look-see at what's growing and what is maybe not. So, uh, yeah. Happy growing, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Also, join us on the, uh, the Plants and Things What's Growing page. Uh, a lot of fun there. A lot of photos. A lot of uh, knowledgeable people. A lot of beginners. And uh, nothing wrong with having beginners come in and, and, and learn some new stuff. you got to start somewhere, right? So uh, don't be nervous. Ask questions. Uh, we've got a lot of people that, like I said, know a lot about what they're doing. Uh, very specific. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It, it, it's a good time. So anyway, happy growing, and I'll talk to you soon. Such a pretty looking orchid. It's really pretty. Being very careful, because these are quite fragile. Hold on to as much as you can.